What's going on, Mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar. From Near Main Condition, and today we're going to take a first look at Miss Marvel, the oversized hardcover, Volume 5. So please stay tuned. Okay, now before I get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel Comics for sending me, at Near Main Condition, an advanced copy of the book. Here is the spine. It is Volume 5. This is the volume that wraps up G. Willow Wilson's run on this wonderful character, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. Now, back there, you see the Omnibus. Now, that is the first series. This is Volume 5. So, over here would be considered Volumes 1 and 2 put together into one Omnibus. There isn't a second Omnibus yet, so I hope there's some. Now, let's look at the book and what it looks like here. Without the dust jacket... Much like the Omnibus and previous hardcovers, it's panels from the book. I always enjoy that. Okay, let's open it up. It's got this pink. So you know what you're in for. No, Kamala Khan is not about being pink. It's about being a badass little lady. All right, so it kind of gives you a previously page. And let's look at the table contents. So you have G. Willow Wilson. And like I said, this is what finishes out her run. And then you have Miss Marvel 31, and where she gets a bunch of help from different writers. And it's nice to see names here I haven't seen in a while in comic books, uh, like Devin Grayson, for example. And then you have the artist here. The only one that is missing is, of course, Alfona, who I really enjoyed his artwork in the first series. So this is the second series. Uh, this collects issues 25 through 38 of the 2015 series, the series that I has the omnibus is from 2014 and like i said so it would be like volume one and two then three and f volume three kicks off with issues one of the 2015 series it's a little confusing because of the numbering uh but you know you kind of get used to this when you've been doing this for a long time uh by the way i absolutely love the artwork by nico leon and ian herring i think it's wonderful it's up there with uh adrian alfona as far as the simplicity, and it almost looks like a cartoon. Um, now let's look a little more here. Because I want to see exactly what they collect as far as extras. It is a bittersweet ending, as she had been with the character for well over, I want to say, well, I guess almost five years. Now there is a new series coming out. It started uh, earlier this year. It's called The Magnificent Miss Marvel. Um, it's not the same creative team. I haven't read any of those yet, so I'm... Kind of hoping to pick up that first trade paperback. Here's some more artwork. See what I mean? The color tones are just beautiful. My wife and daughter absolutely love this title, as well as my co-host, Maddie. But I, I've only read the first Omnibus, and I really enjoyed it. And I just, for some reason, it's just one of those characters that I keep forgetting about uh, because I get caught up doing other reads. But... They seem to keep enjoying it. So, I bought the other hardcovers, much like Guardians of the Galaxy by Bendis, who had an omnibus, or for that matter, the Jason Aaron Thor run. I'm buying the hardcovers knowing that there might be a small chance. Okay, with Jason Aaron, for sure, we're going to get an omnibus. It's just a matter of when. I'm almost willing to bet anybody, unless Marvel's watching me and they want to see me lose money. But... With Guardians of the Galaxy, a volume two from Bendis, probably not going to happen. That's why I got the oversized hardcovers. And it's kind of weird when you see them lined up on my shelf because you see Guardians of the Galaxy omnibus and then you see a volume four and five. Well, it's the same case with this. You see the Miss Marvel omnibus. Then you see the oversized hardcovers, volumes three, four, and five. Now, to me, I know what I'm looking at. And I don't care if anybody else that comes over is OCD and is like, hey, where the hell's volume two? Because I know the story continues into Volume 3. but So that that's what I'm doing with these. Um, I'm buying the oversized hardcovers in the hopes that there will be an omnibus someday. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. A Volume 2. Now let's look at the extras back here. I can't show you the previous page because it's a goodbye letter. It's a nice little letter uh, from the creators. But, uh, but it's also the last page of the book, so I can't ruin that. But here is the variant covers. Re I really, really like that one. That's by John Tyler Christopher. And here's one by Mike McCone. Miyazawa. Stephanie Hans. And then some cover sketches, which I always enjoy when they're put in the back of books. And then, of 
course, this. Now, as far as the bind and the build of the book, what can I say? It's perfect. It's sewn binding. It's not coming apart. A book this small, you rarely see any issues with. And I always forget to mention that the books are available in trade paperback format if you don't want to collect them in oversized format. I just like oversized artwork, so that's why I get the Omnis and oversized hardcovers. But if you want and you're OCD about the way that they look on your bookshelf, then yeah, the trade paperback route might be the way to go because those actually have chronological numbers going up. And that, as they say, is that. And that was the contents of the book and what the art looks like and the binding. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to pick up the book or if you're going to wait for maybe a possible second omnibus. I'd love to know your thoughts. Don't forget to check us out on Redbubble where you can find our near mint condition logo on t-shirts and stickers. Check us out on our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at near mint con. And if you enjoy the content of this channel, please think about joining our Patreon where you get exclusive videos like early access to or behind the scenes or even bloopers. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for watching and remember if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.